I think I've always, I've always been interested in drawing. Um, so it began by drawing what was in front of me, um, a way of, of, of communicating, really, um, and a way of expressing myself. I think I've always found that I've, I've been better at communicating visually rather than w with words. I, I found photography. I started a photography course and I found that that enabled me to to look at the world in another way um, to, with, with this frame that I could I could then say what I wanted to say. A lot of my work involves building relationships with people or going into areas and learning about what other people do and, and that takes time, there's no way that th that sort of relationship can be um, can be sped up. So it's, it's like a documentary process really um, in that I, I spend a lot of time with a group of people, uh, observe them, take photographs, video and then work out what it is I want to say about that and uh, spend a lot of time going back with the group and and then within the edit of the film um, that's when it all sort of comes together. Other people, um, the conversations I have with the people I meet, uh, not in, in, on the street, anywhere, I think, I think everybody has a story, everybody has interests um, and just spending time and talking to people, that's, that's sort of where I get my inspiration from. It's been great, to, great exposure, great chance to, um, to make another piece of work um, in a great exhibition space. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's an opportunity to, to try and push my ideas, um, to try and sort of take what, what I made for my graduation um, that was seen and, and to sort of take that onto a new level. Wherever it takes me, I think, um, I'm always going to gonna keep thinking, I'm always sort of going to be communicating in this way. It's, it's the way that I, I express myself, it's the way I communicate with people, so um, as long as I have the opportunities to, to keep making it, I'm, I'm going to keep making it wherever that may take me.